Hello, welcome to my video. If I told you that you could have Agent Force deployed in your Salesforce org by the end of the day, it's pretty likely that you wouldn't believe me. While it may or may not be true that that's possible, it can be done quickly. I've made this video to simplify and outline the steps necessary to get Agent Force up and running in your org. Let's dive in. So before you can go into setup and start configuring and enabling AG Force, you want to make sure your org is set up to have it. So the first easy check is to say if you have Enterprise Edition or higher uh, in Salesforce, you're able to add what I've got noted here, the Salesforce Foundations Package Free. Uh, I'll provide that link in the description below, but that is one of the quickest ways to get up and running with licenses to be able to try this out. There's obviously a lot of other ways to enable agent force and have access to it in your org that's really a discussion that you would want to have with the salesforce a to determine you know best way be cost to get the uh licenses but obviously this is the first step in getting agent force working up and running your org just make sure you have the licenses prepared for it okay so here we have moved into the meat of the video these are really the steps to quickly enable agent force in your org there's only six of them that i've got here i'm gonna walk through them here in just a sec but let's talk about enabling einstein activate agent force create a user that user is going to be used for the, the agent the bot right assign it the given permissions and then you're going to go configure the agent and lastly deploy it and then the deployment can look very different depending on how you want to implement this bot so that's kind of an asterisk on that one is is where do you deploy it but it's really as simple as that getting an agent up and running that you're able to communicate with. So let's dive into a quick demo to walk through these steps. All right, how fun is this? Let's get into configuring. We're gonna deploy an agent. So here's the steps that you can see right above me here, enable Einstein. So if you type in Einstein setup in the setup, again, once you have the correct licenses, you can click on Einstein setup here and turn this on. It's gonna be a first step, very simple and very easy. Going on to the next tab here. Here we're going to activate Agent Force. So this actually agents won't be on until you activate. It sounds like we just did. Or enable line sign. But now I can click on agents here and I can turn this Agent Force. Turn it on. Agent Force is activated. Great. We're going to come back to this screen in just a second. But first we're going to navigate over here to users. So you may need to create a new user, or it's maybe a matter of enabling the right user. But you want a unique user for a given agent or bot. So in this case, you know, I've, I've done the sales coach agent user, and that's what I'm using for the example today. So here's a created user and you'll need to give them the right permissions. So that's the next step. You have the user and then for the sales coach, you have the agent for sales coach. For different uh, agents that you can create, there are different permission sets that you'll want to add. So just Keep that in mind, but it can be as simple as just assigning permission set. Other times it can be a little more detailed, making sure they get the exact right permissions that they that they need. Okay, so now we're moving back to this agent pay, agents page that I showed you. I'm gonna refresh it. And you'll see, I have a couple agents that I've created here that you can also just select new agent and Apologize, I missed out there. I've created one and then there's the default, the booting. But here's the builder. So this is really cool. As you saw, the user that I, that I created was sales coach. So here I'm going to select sales coach and select next. And this is really, really intuitive. This is where you're just going to set up the bot or agent and give it all the instructions that you want so it'll work correctly for you. Right here, I'm just going to leave it as default. I'm gonna give it all the different things. I don't wanna take the time right now to go into the nitty gritty of the settings and exactly the role that I, I want this bot to fulfill. But regardless here, it's the sales coach. And you know, the, this example is great. Help us with sales company specialized Okay, and then, you know, that that's obviously not enough 
here, but just to give you the instructions on quickly deploying, you really don't have to get that complicated. A quick description of role, it's a quick paragraph, right? You don't even have that many characters. And same with company. You're just giving quick things and it tells you what it's looking for here. Here's where I'm going to select guy user, sales coach, agent user. Oh, type the wrong thing there. So that's why you need that user, right? And then you go ahead and hit next language. That's just going to default to English there, especially for me. And you don't actually have to do that data, but that is something you can do to enrich, to basically give it more data to, to have access to. And then we have other videos and there are, there's a lot of information out there on configuring your, your agent, but at the very most basic level, this agent's ready to go. I could show you an example here. Can you help me with prepare a pitch for a potential sale and see it's it's a helpful bot and it's already responding. You know, it's it's not going to be super specific, but it's like, hey, give me some information. So you can see it's this preview is already ready to go. So as far as configuring agent at a very basic level, this agent's configured and we can make this quite powerful simply by adding just some instructions to these different topics. Again, I'll, I'll, ref, I'll send you to some other videos to dive a little more into configuring, but this agent is configured configured. I can now activate it. And now that it's activated, it's ready to deploy. I want to be very clear on this next part is that now that it's activated, there's a lot of different ways you can deploy it. It could be on a community that you host. You could pull in the sales bot on the, you know, the, an opportunity, the opportunity page, a bunch of different things like that. And here I'll show you quickly how to deploy specifically the sales coach. Again, this is, this is an easy deployment. Uh, the other deployments for other bots in like a community site or something like that also can be very easy. So I'll come over here to agent for sales coach. I'll make sure it's all enabled. There's a button that I just selected here that says enable all. So once I've done all that, I just have to give myself the specific permission. It is called, and I've done this ahead of time, manage sales coach agent permission set. And once I've done that, I'm able to come here and navigate to apologies to the lightning repro page for opportunities. And here I've just selected the agent for sales coach standard component and it's added to the opportunity record page. I'll go ahead and save that. And you guys will be able to see that here on this opportunity page, I have the sales coach agent deployed ready to use on the opportunity layout. So really cool, it tells me, okay, I have a couple different things that I can do here with the sales coach, you know, practice the pitch. And this will even let me interact with it and record and talk with it. A lot of different features of the sales coach. Again, this is just one of the ways to deploy an agent, but wanted to give you that quick demo. And once again, thank you for coming to watch the video. Please take the time to leave a little like or comment let us know if you have questions. We are solved.cloud and here to automate your business. Please let us know how we can help.